All right, a fan favorite is back. We got Balance Ram Towers X Ultimate Cross Babbing. Now, what's the twist for today? Well, I figured since the new map editor edition, why don't we try the hardest of custom maps? So this is Pigeon Hunter by Amphi. Actually, Pigeon Punter. I found it in my Discord and I picked it specifically because it is pretty hard. Let's jump into it to show you the pathing of this map. I believe there are three lanes. One of them just goes straight left to right and then two of them exit there. So you can see just how hard it is. Probably, you know, up up there in terms of the hardest maps in the game currently. Also, can we take a minute to point out those poor pigeons dying? Oh my god. It's like a war zone over here. And the worst part is they're not actually even dead because they're still like... They're kind of moving. They're suffering. Somebody. And it's misery. And it looks like it's this bull in the middle that's done in this carnage. Poor pigeon. That has to face, uh, face a head to, head to head. Anyways, while they're uh, battling it out, we are going to battle the balloons on the outskirts. So uh, let's randomize some crap and see what we get. We got a wizard and bomb to start. Not really any, not really good early game. So I'll probably get rid of it next round. Okay, I did some more randomizing, and uh, if you haven't noticed, I did pick ABR, so that means it's gonna be a bit tougher for early game, because I feel like I gotta up the the ante here. I feel like I've played so much Random 5 5 that I kind of know, it, like, the secret to winning now, especially since I was able to beat a, an elite boss the last time I did this, by the way. That was with double cash, though, so take it with a grain of salt, but I still kind of know the meta, so I gotta, you know... Make the challenge, get the, make the challenge harder and harder and harder as we go. And I can certainly feel the difficulty spiking. Uh, should I randomize the Star Monkey? Oh my god, two 110 Wizards? This is not good. Yeah, they're pretty garbage for $1,000. Well, you know what's even more garbage? This village. I might have to do a take two here. One thing to also increase the stakes further is I'll try not to sell Towers and rebuy them, because that's kind of cheesy. We'll see if I can salvage. This 111 Sniper is decent, but... I just remember line of sight. It might just be good enough for now, though. How much is this going to leak me down to? 14. Nope, this is going to be a kill. Okay. I think I leaked too many lives in the early game here. Let's do another reroll, and hopefully we get, like, a better start. This seems... No, uh, zero, 010 zero is not that great. I should also make sure to drop... Did I not drop my free monkeys earlier? I definitely should have used the free glue, because the free glue always turns to a zero, zero, 000 dark monkey, from what I recall. So that should help stem the bleeding let's go for intense magic the tough part about abr2 is that you need it's you need very early lead and very early camo both of which is hard to come by now with this boomerang i'll switch the star monkey out and i actually quite like the sub right now look how far it's it starts are able to seek so i think we drop another tower now yes yeah, something with lead popping ideally for this round uh nope and also something with global range, because I feel like if we randomize something to a mortar, which is really good this update, or an ace, that would be lovely. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take two of these, but even with that, I'm so much better than last time. It's not even close. Hey, there's our camo protection for two out of three lanes. And now for lane three over here. Come on, can we get something good? This is lead popping, but there's no leads for like eight rounds, so I think I'll still keep it though in case I get a little bit unlucky. But damn, do we need more camo soon? Down to... Oh no, this is bad. I don't remember on top of that where the next uh, camo round is, but soon, please. It's over, y'all. It's over. It's over. I'm finally getting my lead popping, but still looking for the camo. Okay, perhaps this challenge might still be a little bit out of my league. I am very close to dying here. Yep, I I'm just not... Either I'm, like, not getting lucky enough or something else. Luckily, retrying the round does give me a second chance with the same tower, so maybe I'll just keep randomizing, like, what I get until something's good. Actually, this, this Alka is putting in work. Zero, one, zero, yeah. I think we survived now, but I gotta get something really quick. One, zero, two. Two lives. Will I survive this? Nope. Okay. So whatever I randomize this to is basically, it uh, basically determines whether we beat or lose the round. Nope. I think I need to actually randomize this side here. I don't want to say it, but it might be over. This is like my 20th reroll of this same tower. And uh, I don't think it's working. Do I admit defeat? Couple more tries. By the way, if you can't tell already, this is a balanced mod. So I only get towers within a certain range of price of the total cost of the tower. 202 might just do it. If the bolt seek good enough, come on. Nah. Nah. 
Just leave the pigeons here. I might be defeated. One more try with the shrapnel. Best I can do. Unfortunately, best I can do is still pretty bad. It's that line of sight blocker. Like the pleb I am, I have now decided to downgrade from uh, um, ABR to uh, double HP Moabs. So still a harder game mode-ish, but only hard once we actually get the ball rolling. So for the first 40 rounds, we can like kind of chill and actually make it out of here without suffering like every other second. After all, I don't know if it's just my take, but I do think uh, random five five is more fun once it gets to the late game, and then actually have like ultimate cross path towers that pack a punch relative to uh, uncross path ones because early game you're not gonna re get get a whole lot of power with one um, upgrade in the third cross path of a, of a tower, if you know what I mean. This right here should already kind of show you just a di the difference between ABR and normal. I have not had to break a sweat so far, even with like kind of sub part towers. Do I get rid of this uh, sub? Sure. I'd love to try to get Head Start to my farming if possible, but given difficulty this map, might take a while. This Drone Gun I'm definitely going to keep because for some reason, uh, it's OP in that the darts still shoot through the fence. Definitely a must have in my opinion. This Ice Tower I gotta get rid of immediately because it is actually actively hurting us. And for Camo, I got this guy over here. I will probably get rid of it though because it's pretty weak given that we spent 2k in this thing. I got seven rounds eight rounds to get another camo tower hell even this darling is really weak as a zero user but i kind of need it for the global range no should i just randomize it i have a discount guys am i really that greedy we already know the early game is this tough but yeah i'm still i'm still keeping a a damn village run from it hide from it any game mode the discount village always arrives so i'm not sure if i should continue doing what i'm doing with my current defense basically like shoving them in the intersections and not Leaving this down part empty, but I feel like I should still put towers down there because it's still... Just like uh, other intersections, it gets two of the lanes. I guess I'm really just trying to maximize discount for the moment, so... After I run out of space here, then I will start building stuff. Oh, I also just realized it is time for round 33 and I don't have freaking... I, I don't have camo. Bruh. Okay, I got camo in this thing. One, two, 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 just tank this round. Because I, I believe I survive. Yup, I'm just gonna tank it if I survive it. 53, that's fine. But I gotta get one in the next three rounds. Okay, there we go. Something. Not a good angle whatsoever, but... It's good enough for what I currently currently have. Alright, now this round's getting scary. Okay, let's quickly get something now for back here, because we are leaking. Oh, this is nice. Well, again, it's still a 0, zero, zero darling, so... It's only nice to an extent. I will get rid of it after this round, after I deal with the pinks. I feel like this is just the ABR all over again, but delay by, by like 15 rounds. Please. Quickly. Something good. This triple shot spike bullet should hold the line against anything that leaks, hopefully. Well, let's see for ourselves here. Oh, if only we could pop leads. Okay, I'm gonna need to... Should I... I'll randomize. Oh, no. I lost it because I randomized it during the round. Oh, that sucks. Well, it's okay. This is just as good. Now, lead popping, please. Thank you, I got it. In fact, triple shot crossbow is better than triple shot spike the ball for this map, I mean. That damage. Oh, right, I just missed. I just noticed I have no more cam over here. That's okay, though. I'm just gonna bank all the money I have. So, $4,000 to beat round 40. Right, this is where the... I don't have anything for this part. It's a double HP mob again. Maybe I was a little bit ambitious going double HP, but come on. I got $4,000. Surely. Surely I can clutch up here. Surely. Uh, for this attempt... I don't have much. Do we think a heavy shells plus this can do 400 damage? Let's see. I like how the mortar can't even target properly. Nope. Not good enough. Oh, this is good. Mauler and then this plus jungle the druid to catch anything that leaks. I still don't know if that's enough damage though. Might it be time. You know what? I should also get rid of the village. Just for the sake of this round. It's so close. Yep, I gotta get rid of the village. I think there's no choice. Okay, Dragon's Breath, and uh, NG. Nah, not good enough. Frick. Now that I'm thinking about it, I maybe should have done double HP mob. So, like, normal HP is hard enough. Alright, literally 30 tries later. If Mob Shredder can't beat a Moab, I don't know what to do. I think I just have to employ the selling tactic in order to survive this. I think just for this one round, I'll allow. Otherwise, I'd have to, like, restart all over. I think Wolf Shot actually beats 400 HP Moab. So now I'm just gonna buy some defense to survive these Cerams that come out of this. Uh, really big bonds, Donk Sling's back. That's good. 
Uh, double pin is good. I'm gonna sell the damn village now, too. For maximum D. Mm, not very good. Uh, let's just play the round end. If it pops, I'll sell. Holy crap. Come on. Wall fire. All right, that was a bit overkill, but we did it. All right, and now to quickly get back something to defend this. Luckily, again, my crossbow is OP as heck. Have we finally made it past the hardest parts of the game? Well, only time will tell. At this point, I'd like to try to get a farm to eke out ahead. Might be a little bit wishful thinking, though. Uh, what's next to get rid of? I think bigger this can get can go. Also, I kept this up here so that I could decamo everything on 42. And whatever it misses, this guy can kind of clean up. And I think for this round here, uh, I'm going to get... Ooh, I got a Glaver Shit Kylie. How good is it against Serams? I'm really deathly scared about this part. Crossbow can only do so much, but it's good. It's good. Ah, oh, and there's our first farm. 002, but I'll take it. I'll take it. We got another Kylie in the house that I will gladly accept. What's the weakest tower now? I also want to try and invest to not make this, um, you know, game too chaotic. And that is dropping too many towers on the field. I'd like to try to limit the subset. But obviously, um, beating the game comes first. That is number one priority. I think this airburst can go. I'm still leaking. Oh, yeah. I should... One of these towers should be camo because my sub is whiffing a little bit. This is camo. And I'll keep it because um, it's good at catching Moabs. We've got some very solid towers. That's all I can say. Maelstrom. No, nah, I don't want to be relying on ability this early. Uh, I got a distraction to here. If only I can get an out buff next to it, then we'll be golden. And like some sort of frozen popping for it. Uh, we'll do that later for now. Let's get rid of this thingy. An overdrive blade shooter. Sure. It has good pierce. And come on. Oh my god. I, I actually should get more defense back here. But the problem with pointing it back here is you see the Moabs. Although not every mob will be on the, you know, that top lane. Just the first, first of each round. So I know round 50 for sure. We'll spawn over there still. I'll get some defense though. Can I hold with an airburst? Okay. Oh, even better is if I get like a global tower. So sure. Wing Monkey Ace just to do some damage everywhere. I'm very curious how much mob damage we have in the tank. I don't think it's actually good enough. Okay. That's why again I bank three and a half thousand dollars to... Uh, change up it's a shame that i got a bank now i don't have enough money to spend to beat like this round though okay here's some more selling i can't double bank i can't if i had the ability then turbocharger would totally work no my bank opportunity has been you know it, it's gone come and gone same with this like god damn horrible timing eh but i just can't i just can't i gotta keep re-rolling this kylie to something decent like this is okay. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's actually not good. Okay, now the question is, can I keep this while surviving the exit? Wall fire, I'm gonna try. Oh, no, I don't get the ability in time, do I? Forget, I'm gonna try. The ability cooldown is pretty fast. Oh, it's up, it's up, okay. So, Maelstrom now? Oh, it's still too slow. No, no, Distraction Clutch. Is that a glitch also? But I don't think Distraction is supposed to be that OP. I will gladly take it, though. Now, can I please survive the random balloons? Wait, I'm looking at this again. No? Oh, no. Oh, no. The mob comes from that lane. Oh, get the heck out of here. This is so rough, guys, with double HP. Oh, there it is. Mob shove. We win. Rip our farm, but that's okay. Mob shove is a keeper, especially for the 50s. Oh, my God. I am dead to leads. Why? Why Cruel Earth? Why? Uh, this time I got Jungle's Bounty and Destroyer, which is actually really good. Now, I just need to have enough mob damage for the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The mob coming from the top side? Because if I pop it, then we win. I'm just gonna see if I get Global Tower. No... Wait. Please? <gasps> oh! It worked. I can't believe I, I, I agreed to play such a mess of a challenge. By that, I mean, why is it so hard? <laughs> Anyways, are we in the clear yet? We have really, really good towers and some decent eco. Dare I say get rid of the Jitsu? Because I have the Destroyer now. Uh, after this mob. After it pops. Oh, yeah. We got some good... Good tea right now. This is also solid. Also, it's apparently a Juggernaut party today, I guess. Because we have three Juggernauts on the field. All of them triple shot. What are the odds? I just realized this one's a really good keeper. 4-3-4. Four, four. I think I'm probably spent to get rid of this one. Ooh, health buff. I have to say we are firmly in the driver's seat now. 
Actually, hang on. This this round, this mob is getting uh, very scarily far. Nope, we don't have enough damage. Ah, it's because, like, there's two coming at once. All right, here's what I'll do. Uh, uh, destroy and last for attack speed. Back on first, I got Dartling too for plus one damage at a time. Let's see if there's enough damage in the tank now. All we need is to pop it. Pog, it worked. We are solid. I just don't know if we're making enough money to be able to survive, uh, like, decent late game. Uh, Mauler, sure, I'll keep. Because, again, Jungle's Bounty out buff literally beats every Moab. I'm just trying to spam towers around here in the hopes they turn into a farm so this thing gets more eco, but so far I've just been getting damage and damage, which is not a bad thing, but I'd love to just have a safer late game, you know, after that struggle of an early game, so I'm just gonna keep on randomizing. I think it's too late to keep Let's Gold because uh, all the Let's will be popped by the Destroyer or the Outbuff, the Druid anyways. Uh, next, please. Uh, this is a 3-2-2 sub. I'll keep this and then get rid of uh, this one after. Let me add some first, actually, so I beat the Moab. Yep. Oh my god, that Dart Monkey just <laughs> annihilated it. Okay. New tower. Submerge this one. Hey, there it is. Marketplace. Oh, also fortified. First fortified round. 800 HP Moab coming right at you. And we have... We have enough. Actually. Is it actually enough? Ah. Uh, nope. Okay, maybe what we need is to unsubmerge the sub. This time, it pops a bit earlier. So, uh, this round, I want to think we have enough DPS. Oh, not even close. We should really focus on mob damage, because it is double HP. But with all these being good right now, I I gotta say, new tower. Let's roll. Oh, hey, whoa, why did we... Oh my god, we got the uh, biggest bank ever. Tallest bank ever. Actually, it's just a bank rotated 180 degrees, but... That's certainly a, an angle you do not see. Unless you have mods. And... Uh, I hope I don't have to get rid of that bank. Because of this damn round here. But it certainly seems like I need more help. I think for one, I can get rid of this. This thing has definitely been outscaled. Far too much. You know what? I guess the Arctic Wind can go because... Uh, I mean, my balloon damage is decent. And it only really uh, slows down balloons on... That straight line, which I think we have enough damage for, so... We got lots of money now to spend. Let's see, a spike balls is might be okay. Oh, and this is... Uh, a potentially spicy combo, because... Uh, if I can beat all the mobs, then we have the blowback. To save us, come on. Must mortar the micro very well here. Please spike balls it. And it did it, it did it. Spike balls. Coming to save the day. And now we've saved the most amount of money that I've ever had. Hopefully we got something good to compensate for that. I guess we just got an upgraded version of our decamo sub. Sure, I'll, I'll take it, and I'll just keep this one decamo the right side. There's still some space to put some towers here, so I'm gonna, again, hope that they end up turning to a farm. Right now, I'm making some pretty good bank from my druid. Five, not thousand. And you bet once I can cash up from the bank, then I could go much, much further. That mole press is also likely gonna come in clutch. Holy crap, I leaked, but survived. And now we got a Jungle Drums Camel Village to help out even more. I think I honestly want to get rid of the Mauler, because uh, a single one will only do so much. Even though, as you see, there's still an issue, but I think I can risk it for the Biscuit and go and go harder. Reminder again to spend on Tier 3s and below, so I get the discount. And Fighter Plane is an upgrade to that, but I'm still gonna keep on rerolling, because uh, I think I want to at least get to 100 rounds of this. ODS will do for now. Let's get rid of this uh, Dartling Gun. We do have a really solid foundation right now, it seems, and it's bank time. $23,000 to spend on whatever we please. I suppose this thing doesn't do a whole lot anymore. Oh, Concoction's good late game. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. This can probably go too, it's a single destroyer. Another out buff, I gotta keep that. And luckily there is space to put more towers all the way up here so that I can actually utilize a second tier 4 out buff for, so... Let's see what good stuff we can possibly get here. Uh, fan club? Nah. Nah. Yes. I've been preaching to the choir about how good Relentless is. Uh, that is something I'm definitely going to make sure not to buy any upgrades for. So how clean do you think the final 20 rounds of this is going to go? Uh, $30,000 to spare. It's at this point that I should definitely start to get, like, some tier 5s. Spike? Oh, man. If I could only target the spike mines. But right now, all the spikes get eaten immediately. Which, I'm pretty sure is pretty bad for Spike Factory. Glue Strike is a keeper. Damn, that is going to give us so much damage if you get, like, the right towers. Odious is using a good real estate. Oh, it's a merchant man. I gotta keep it for now. While I can milk some money out of these. Quote-unquote, easy. 
easy rounds in round 80. Do you think it's time we get rid of this thing? Oh, for sure. This does, like, no damage anymore. It might be... No. Yes to this, meaning... Let's spend our 20k on a, another tower over here. Oh, a sticky bomb. I think I should keep this and spend my 9k again on another tower. That ideally get benefit... Oh my god. These don't really benefit from outbuffing, but I gotta keep it because... Again, as long as we beat the uh, BFBs, this spike balls comes in clutch. I should probably get some real damage now this, this round because there's nothing... I just realized all my damage is kind of on the right side of the map. It's gone from left side being OP to now right side being OP, so come on. Something with our 17k. Hey, there's their sticky bomb. Hopefully that's enough. I'll use a transforming tonic here to beat the Rams. And then glue strike if the insides of here are any problem. But I think the spike ball should just tank. Or the jungle druid. Still coming in clutch. It just kind of sucks right now, honestly, that all of our... The farms here are eating up, like, the best real estate. I could place towers here, by the way. But I'm pretty sure if I do that... Then, hang on, I might die here. Nope, so was good. But as I was saying, towers can not can only, like, see over here if it's, like, the right kind of tower, so... I don't know. Should I just keep building in, like, worse and worse spots? Actually, I'll, I'll just get rid of this one. Two, $200 a round, like, is nothing. Since there's only a couple rounds left. I need something good. Artillery battery is... Meh. I mean, it's good now, but it's round 87. I am so dead, I am so dead, I am so dead, I am so dead. Blue strike now too, please. Uh, I think it's too late. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this is it, but a 4-4-4 ninja can allow me to use, well, sabotage. So sure, we'll use it now and see if that, like, helps us beat this damn ZMG up here. And how is it looking so far? Oh, that's so much better. Just that Sabo and an extra bomb, don't forget. The second Sticky Bomb comes in hella clutch, and uh, would you look at that? 87 is done, but I always say, if the 80s are hard, just imagine the 90s. Luckily, I can probably afford to sell my farms, like, once you start. Once it, once the game is getting close to ending and I don't need the money. This is OP, though. Semi-auto to help me stall balloons in place, sign me the F up. And now we can cash out for a bank for the second time. I can probably get rid of it soon, because it's not going to be full in the next nine rounds or so. Um, This... Pirate, I'll probably get rid of. Mob shove, is that really worth keeping? I don't think so, considering we have made mob now. Even though technically this side is still like kind of weak. Hey, spike ball, spike storm. I think I keep it just for the sake of the ability. And if it works the way I think it does, then I should like absolutely destroy ceramics and mobs. Let's use it now. This, these are uh, these mobs look kind of scary. Oh yeah, that's that's fun. That's a fun one worth using. I'll uh, again tonic to win this off. Right? Doesn't this out buff the spike? At least I think I should have once the, uh, you know, Cookie Monster times out. Yeah, yes it does, okay. Guys, there is some hope. The 90s aren't too bad so far. And I still have $30,000 to spare. It's kind of crazy that I've gone this far without any tier 5s. None of these are tier 5s, right? Now that I'm looking at it, no. Just the power of ultimately cross path tier 4s. And this damn main mob here. That allows us to stun, like, so many ZMGs in place. Never allowing them to get far at all. I think we ought to see just how much this defense stays up, because I see nothing that really deserves replacement at the moment. I'll blow every ability this round because it looks pretty hard. Glue Strike 2, and we win. Nope, we don't, but very close. Oh, I know we can replace. This Merchant Man is kind of weak. Uh, Three Relentlesses? No. Sure, an ability. I also think I'm going to get rid of this farm here, even though it'll lose me a little bit of money. Now with the Jungle's Bounty ability... I'll actually take glue, two glue strikes. I could use longer duration of both of them. Or longer coverage, I mean. So I can afford to use the first glue strike now, I guess, right? Yeah, now. For some epic damage. This too. Second cookie monster now as well. And yep. That beats 95 as well. Pog. Huge pog, everybody. Huge pog. Unfortunately, I used every ability this round, so I gotta spy my 35k now. Well, I can replace this thing because I just used the ability on it. So ideally, something strong. Nope. Yes. Now, I think that is just what I need. Watch this. S-Mail. Does it have the bottom cross path? Wait, it doesn't even beat it. All right, it sucks. Late game, okay. Okay, this might be it. Ground zero. I gotta ask, how do I have two planes? Well, I, I won't question it, but the ability is up very soon, so I can use it for the Moabs. Let's Wing Monkey. Oh my god, I bugged out with Wing Monkey. 
Now we have one frozen place, and one of them is flying really, really fast. I'm gonna keep it, because it looks funny. But I think I'll glue strike, or uh, use it now. Oh god, was that too early? Because I don't have abilities. Wait. Spike Storm? This. Okay, we're good, we're good. We survived the onslaught of 96. We got a really good at press over here, so that allows me to change this one. And spend my 20... Well, not $20,000 anymore. Slowly dwindling. Shattering is great for 98. I love it. And then I can probably swap it out after 98 ends for... Uh, well, wh whatever's next. Let's get this bread, everybody. Uh, final stretch. So, Sabo now. Target the Shattering, so they de fortify BFBs. Uh, and what else do I, do I do here, you think? It seems really easy so far. Like, have, do we already beat everything? Yeah, and this mid, this mid mob is insane. I'll use this thingy. Uh, I don't want to ground zero this. Good, I don't. If I can keep every ability up for 99, then it's it's Gucci. I'll glue strike for bonus damage. And so we win. It's that easy, fellas. It's that easy. Alright, let's slowly randomize for 99. See if anything could be useful. But I should be looking out for actually around, around 100. I feel like I beat 99 very easily as long as I just use all my abilities. So, Sabo now. I'll use this. And I'll ground zero uh, now. I honestly am only, only going to use ground zero so I can save my spike storm for around 100. So here we go. Now we get rid of every tower that sucks against... Uh... Well, bats. I'm going to try my best to quickly, but I probably have to pause the round so... So that I can actually take my time here. Otherwise, uh, uh, I don't know. Right, it's a lot of HP, guys. It's basically a fortified bad with a double HP there. So let's take our time, as I said. Okay, I'm just going to sell everything at the bottom to start. So I can just go big on a singular tower. Oh, Cripple is a keeper. Now I just, now I just need something that like actually goes hard with Cripple. And I guess that would be Spikestrom stuff. So this is good. Next... Embrittlement, yes. First strike, Pog. Oh my god, two first strikes? I can't lose this run. I don't think you could you could, have, you could have asked for anything better. So, again. This. New tower. Oh my god, three first strikes. Alright, I'd be seriously trolling if I uh, somehow lost this. Alright, hey, there's this. I'll get rid of it now. Since it is uses... Hey, this is good. So, after this first strike, sell this one. Spam the heck out of something. Alright, I'm just gonna blow... Wait for it. Last first strike now. Okay, what do I do for the ZMGs? Sell everything over here. Why doesn't Cripple stun it? Comanche. Sun God. No. Almost. Okay, Energizer first strike. How does this combo together? I guess we'll find out. If this also works the way I think it does, we should pop the battle really quickly. Let's go. Reminder again to get rid of this thingy. Uh... Hey, at least Cyber should buff this thing. And now we're doing like almost a thousand DPS. Now that is what I call stonks. I still... Again, need some knockback for this... Very backside. Uh, let's see. First strike now. Beautiful. Only ZMG, so what do, what do? Well, first off, I'd get rid of this IMF loan. Wait for it, wait for it. Actually, I think I'm good here. Oh, yeah. That elite defender, man. Is insane. And GG. That was harder than any boss I've done, honestly. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching me go through pain and suffering and ran a 5-5 towers, then click the card here for more of that. See you later.